Hi, I'm Eric Robinson, Automation Specialist with Warner Electric Supply. Welcome to our Automation Learning Series. In this series, we will bring you the latest in automation technologies, products, and how-to videos. Today, we're going to be talking about using the Factory Talk Asset Center Disaster Recovery feature. Disaster Recovery is an optional add-on to Factory Talk Asset Center that allows the Asset Center server to perform regular file backups and, if desired, compare the running file to the archive file to note any differences. We've got the tree on the left, and we can see some of the different files we have in here, including PLC5 programs, RSLogix 500 programs for Slick and MicroLogix, as well as Control Logics and Compact Logics. Over on the Schedules tab, we can see some of the different backups we have configured, including backing up the controllers, backing up the switches, checking the inventory using the inventory crawler, and this one at the bottom that actually checks all of our programs in our uh, logics controllers and then compares them. If we go to the logs tab, we can see what one of those reports looks like. Right here, you can see that there was a warning and it noted down at the bottom that there were differences found in the running program compared to what the backup has. This is what one of those reports looks like. It does a side-by-side -side comparison of the offline file to the online file and will outline any differences that it finds. This report can also be emailed uh, to a list of recipients of your choosing. This feature actually does a full upload of the program and uses the RSLogix 5000 compare tool to do a side-by-side -side analysis. So it checks the entire program from top to bottom including run comments, um, logic, adding tags, or even adding I.O. modules. You may have noticed down at the bottom here that there are some Stratix switches as well. Starting with version 11, disaster recovery for Stratix switches was brought in to maintain backups of all of your critical network infrastructure as well as your controllers so that you have a complete eye on your entire control system. For more information, contact your local Warner Electric representative. Be sure to check out the Warner Electric YouTube channel for more videos from our automation learning series.